B, it's good to see you again. I don't know if we can run this committee unless you're here. <laughs> oh. uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. It's good to see you, too. Uh, my name is B. Moorhead. I'm the director of Texas Impact, and we are big RPS fans. Texas Impact supports House Bill 723 and its goal of increasing the use of renewable energy in Texas by expanding the state's renewable portfolio standard. The RPS is the most efficient, fair, and sustainable policy strategy available to encourage the development of a robust renewable energy sector. As servant leaders of our growing state, the RPS is one of the most significant tools in your toolbox for shaping the future of Texas for generations to come. From a faith perspective, the RPS is the most just renewable policy strategy out there, both in terms of its impact on low-income rate payers and its efficacy for all Texans. The RPS is a progressive thought policy from a fiscal perspective because it spreads the cost of renewables across all rate payers in proportion to their consumption. By contrast, fee-based strategies are regressive because they impose a greater burden on those who consume less energy than those who consume more. The RPS is a universally efficacious policy because it does not rely on the gracious behavior of individuals. Under the RPS, every Texan is implicated equally in the benefits of diminished energy-related pollution because every Texan's consumption is transitioned proportionally to renewable energy. Thus, the RPS is fundamentally a justice-based rather than a charity-based policy. But significantly, Texas's RPS provides the opportunity for gracious individual behavior through the voluntary purchase of renewable power above the state's mandated threshold. This policy ensures that individual consumers may increase the common good by exercising energy charity if they so desire. So Texas's RPS represents a well-balanced approach. In Texas, we expect a lot of our energy market. We depend on it to keep our lights on, to keep prices low, and to keep us in compliance with federal rules and regulations. But it's not reasonable to expect the market to establish the policy framework within which it operates. That's the legislature's job. The legislature, as the representatives of the people of Texas, all 26 million of us, has the responsibility to articulate a vision for how our state will look in the future. Experience shows that when you all commit to a vision, the market responds. The original RPS that seemed so ambitious years ago has been long since surpassed. And some people think that means that the legislature can declare victory on renewable power and go home. But in the private sector, successful people know that attaining a goal is not just a victory, it's also a challenge, and it's always intimidating because it means your next goal will have to be even higher and you'll have to work even harder to achieve it. That relentless aspiration is what makes the market work, it's what makes America work, and it's why you should go big, not go home, on Texas's renewable portfolio standard. Thank you. Members, any questions for B? Thank you, B.